Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The college has M labs with N machines and in that the working machines is marked as one and the faulty machines that is the non-working machine is marked as zero then there are x students going to take the exam and then for this x students the exam will be conducted as per the lab facilities so the instructions given are if the working machines is greater than the faulty machines in that lab then the lab can be used for the exam so after that the students must take exam only with working machine so if the x students cannot take a first batch then next batch will take so we have m labs with n machines in the college in that working machine is marked as 1 and the 40 is 0 there are x students going to take the exam for this x students the exam will be conducted as per lab facility so if working machine in a lab is greater than 40 lab can be used student must take the exam only with working machine and if the x students cannot take at first batch then the next batch will take so now we will take the first test case so here we have three labs and four machines in each lab so in the first lab we have two working machines and two faulty machines so since the number of working machines is not greater than the faulty machines we will not take this lab for the exam so for our next lab we have three working machines and one faulty machine so we will take this lab for exam as the number of working machines is greater than faulty machine so here the working machine is 3 then in next lab we have all the machines working and there is no faulty machines so we'll also take this lab for exam and here we have 4 working machines so we have marked 4 now we have to place this 25 students in each lab for one batch 
where in the first lab we have three students and in the second lab we have four students. Now we will arrange them in decreasing order. That is four and three. Now in the first batch we'll have four plus three seven students. So the students count will become 25 minus 7 that is 18. So in the next batch also we have 7 students. So in the first batch we have used 2 labs. So we will mark 2. Then in the second batch also we, have, we will use 2 labs. So 18 minus 7 is 11. Then in the third batch also we will use 2 labs and 7 students will be placed and 11 minus 7 becomes 4 then in the last batch that is the fourth batch we'll use only one lab as we have only four students left so we have used one lab now this will be our output and also we have totally four batches will also print it as our output now let us move to our next test case so here you can see there is only two working machines and all other are faulty machines so this is an 8 cross 8 matrix we have 8 labs and 8 machines in each lab so as you can see in the next lab we have four working machines and four faulty machines so this also cannot be used for exam and in all others lab also we don't have the working machines to be greater than the non-working machines so our output will be minus one let us implement our program first we'll get the number of labs and the number of machines in the college and then we'll have the empty list called labs and then we have the variable called exam occur equal to false this is for that minus one case now we will iterate over the labs so we'll use a for loop for ctr in range m we'll have the input laboratory equal to list of map of in comma input of dot split off now we'll have the number of working machines and the faulty machines so working equal to laboratory dot count one so if it is one it's working then faulty equal to laboratory dot count of zero now we'll apply our condition that is if the working is greater than 40 we have to append the labs with working so we'll append the labs with the working and now the exam occur will change to true now we'll get the input x that is the students and if the exam occur is equal to equal to false we have to print minus one and else we'll have the empty list called batch and we'll have a while loop while 
x is greater than 0 before that we will sort them in decreasing order that is we will sort the labs in decreasing order so labs dot sort of reverse equal to equal to true that is we'll have the most working machine slab first then here we will iterate over the labs in which the machines are working and if so here we have the lab count equal to zero and if the x is greater than 0, we'll have the lab count incremented by 1 and the x is decremented with working. And then we will append the batch with lab count. So batch will be appended with lab count. At last, we'll print the length of the batch and the number of laps that is used in the batch. So we are done with our program. Now let us execute with our first test case. So here we have got the correct output that is we have four batches and in each batch we have two labs used except the fourth batch we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output where we have five batches and in each batch we have four labs used and then we'll pass our third test case here we have got minus 1 as the output as in all the batches the number of working machines is not greater than the faulty machines so we have got minus 1 as the output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully <laughs> hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video